Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Allah with another lecture of our steel structure design. So if you hear then you know that already we have started new tutorial series like steel structure design and analysis and design in ETFs. So this is our second lecture. So if you're new here, you can watch our previous lecture. That link are also given in the description in our playlist. So I'll request you please watch that lecture and uh, your basic will be clear. So in this lecture, uh, we are going to start and before starting if you're new to our channel then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever fast so first of all i'll open our previous saved model so this is our previous saved model okay so when uh, this is our model now we'll define our first of all material properties so here the most important thing is now we are going to design steel structure right so for that we'll click here add new material so from here first of all you have to select united estate i mean uh for which country you are working the reason okay they have many country available so if your country is not here or if you are not following the any of any of code from that country then you can use user so here is still okay so this is still then you can define by yourself but uh, here I'm going to use United Estate and you can use for your country here actually so I'm going to reason United Estate reason so I'm uh, or we can use Indian Indian code from here actually and uh, here this is material state this is still okay and here uh, the standard is Indian standard so actually uh, as I'm using IS code actually this is the material section okay this is the material section I mean uh, the material section which section is available in India region from here you can select uh, actually for India uh, and for steel structure they have two types of steel this is the 250 megapascal and uh, 345 megapascal great steel okay so um, you can use that otherwise you can go for United Estates so I prefer to go United Estates court because uh, this country's elements or this country's frame are available all over the world so here is still then ASTM who is a standard you want to follow so they have many standard actually so they have a standard and this is great for 50 a, a 57 this is for 50 grade 50 and here they have another this for 36 grade 36 this for 53 for grade b okay so this is 92 grade 50 and they have another grade like that so 500 so if you're going to use 500 a 500 so they have more option actually for you they have more option as per their grade so you can use grade 50 okay here you can use grade 50 i mean 50 grade steel 50 psi sorry a uh, 50 ksi like that so uh, they have core base so they have many option actually as per your requirement this 53 grade b and uh, this is stm 572 so actually who is grade of steel you want to use it's up to you so i am going to use 50 grade uh, grade 50 concrete so okay this is for our east lecture and actually this is already available here see here a uh, here uh, the 50 grade concrete are already available here so actually uh, if you want to change that it's up to you so I'm just giving a name here s 50 okay our still section is f s s 50 will use s 50 still and here so if you show click here so just see here here all data are available so our um e, i mean our yield strength of our yield stress of our materials is 50 see here this is 50 ksi okay and this is our the minimum yield strength this is 65 actually everything is software defined so if you need to change anything from here you can change as per your requirement and here also this is available models of elasticity of e steel okay 29 29 into 10 to the power 
six psi so this is and here the Poisson ratio so if you need to give a data then you can give it here then coefficient of thermal expansion here also already given so no need to change that as per that data okay so it's okay actually right and the material damping you can change that if they have any damping ratio or anything actually so i have no any data for it and non-linear material data so they have also this is io ls and cp so you can give it here as per your requirement so i'll just cancel it i have no data like that so it's okay then click okay so this is our on material s50 and uh this on material uh, on material section is enough for our work so i'll just simply click okay so we have defined on material property now we'll go for our section property so for section property for that here section properties so for that first of all we'll go frame section here frame section now you are seeing that they have many section available here actually already so i'll just delete that every section i will just simply delete then i will simply delete every section from here okay then uh, rest one okay then click here sorry so delete all section delete section De delete selected section okay then okay so here one is available now we have to define our materials property for that we'll first of all we'll click here import new properties okay so here they have no properties actually only one properties is available and we'll import new properties and new properties and from here what is that this is uh, is still i or white flange okay i or white flange so we'll click here i or white flange now when it's done we'll uh still and white flange now simply we'll click okay and wet so here when it's done now this is see here name of xml properties type aisc so as per aci uh data level we have that section they have many section okay they have many section and here select selection shape this is still i or white flange shape and default material for section this is our uh, default materials for our section this should be 50 grit is still okay so when it's done now from here we'll go to w section yes here this is a w section and from w section we'll select all of our w section here all of our w section are available now simply i'll click ok now see here are all of our w section i mean i flange section are available here okay this is the i section of our structure and this is available okay now when it's done now now when it's done now we'll click here add new properties so i'll simply click here add new properties and select here is still i or white flange so when it's done now we'll click here auto selected list so this is very very important actually because um, if we take only one section then we'll be we have to go for many times we have to go for many times for error and tri trial and error process but if we select auto select we'll select many section properties from here and it will automatically consider our software that which section is economical and which section are passing for our design so simply i'll click here here auto select at least so when it's done first of all i'll create for our columns okay this is for columns when it's done now from here i'll just go here and actually from here i can consider from section 250 into 85 to uh okay six uh okay i'm considering this section for our structure okay so this section I, i'm considering for our structure actually you can consider all of your section okay all of your section but i am considering the section from 285 into 85 to w 760 into 185 section 
okay and then simply click here add when is done now this is the for column C O L call then click ok so here column is ready now we'll go for our add new properties again we'll go for our beam B E A M beam I'll first I'll take for composites com C M okay comp means composite actually why I'm taking this is for composite uh, I'll discuss about that in or another lecture so when this is beam composite and is still and it is auto selected everything else taken and now from here from low to I'll take here okay I think uh, that will be okay actually for our composite section of our beam so it's okay now simply click add and click okay so this is our composite beam are okay now we'll uh define materials property for our main beam so this is auto select from here beam beam main or primary okay so this is main beam and for main beam i'm just going to take section of actually it's depend on you or your client requirements so i'm just going to from 200 to of 530 into 272 okay it is done now add so here it's act now okay so we have successfully defined our materials property here actually this is the beam for beam and for a uh, beam composite beam main and for columns so okay it's done so our uh, we have successfully defined our materials property and that was very very important part of steel structure design actually uh, here um, for that three types of beam uh, and column or composite beam uh, defined it's depend on your structure accuracy or economical structure so simply then click ok so it's done uh, our defined material and after that we'll go for our here uh, selection properties and after that we'll go for our slab defined i mean how it will be actually that uh, this that will be a deck deck section or slab section so i will discuss about that in our next lecture because our, our lecture are being very lengthy so i hope you will stay with us and you will learn something better so thank you thank you very much and if you think that that's helpful for you then please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever first and finally uh, if you're a civil engineer then i'll request you stay with us support us we want to make a better world with each other okay so thank you thank you very much still stay connected till next video